The end, end, end. Die, die, drop it, drop it. Electro magnetic ball. What is EMP? This video will explore the discovery, the cause the effects of EMP, and how this phenomena will change your world. Less than a month after the creation of the atomic bomb, it was used twice as a weapon of war against Japan. There have been over 2,000 warhead detonations in tests since then. It's a race to gain supremacy. Russia, China, and the USA have continued to invent larger and larger weapons. They now possess nuclear weapons almost a thousand times larger than the first atomic bomb, Trinity. The atomic bomb is what makes electromagnetic pulse possible. The first atomic bomb, Trinity, was detonated on July 16, 1945, and it was only 19 kilotons. President Truman made the decision to use the atom bomb three weeks later on Hiroshima and then three days following on Nagasaki. On July 9, 1962, during Operation Dominic, the nuclear test Starfish Prime knocked out electricity to part of the Hawaiian island of Oahu. Kuoai and Maui also experienced electrical problems. This was the discovery of electromagnetic pulse. Nuclear testing continued in the 40s on land and sea. The Americans had stockpiled 50 warheads by the end of the decade. This video depicts a 20 kiloton warhead at sea. Starfish Prime was a 1.4 megaton nuclear bomb detonated at the altitude of 400 kilometers. This test unexpectedly warned the scientists that the Earth is affected electrically by nuclear weapons at high altitudes. In 1949, the USSR detonated their first fission warhead, and the Americans began to develop the hydrogen bomb, a thermonuclear two-stage weapon, like the one used in Starfish Prime. The Earth's atmosphere is comprised of multiple layers, the first of which is the troposphere, which rises to 60,000 feet, followed by the stratosphere rising to 160,000 feet. The mesosphere rises to 265,000 feet. The thermosphere rises to 400 miles. Now this is the elevation of atmosphere that the nuclear test Starfish Prime was conducted in. The warhead was detonated at an elevation of 400 kilometers or 240 miles from the Earth's surface, unexpectedly producing an electromagnetic pulse, knocking out power to Hawaiian islands and causing random electric interference. On November 1, 1952, during Operation Ivy, America detonated Mike the world's first fusion thermonuclear weapon of 10.4 megatons, over 50 times the size of the first weapon. The USSR soon followed in 1955 with their nuke RDS-37. The ionosphere rises to 6,000 miles. It has electronic principles that allow radio waves to bounce off of it. It serves as an electronic shield from solar flares. The Earth is a giant generator generating electricity that you see discharged in thunderstorms. The ionosphere plays a very important role in this generating capacity of the Earth. It is the electrical opposite of Earth's ground. The atmosphere is the storage cell where the electrical energy is stored. The area on Earth that is affected by an electromagnetic pulse is directly related to the size of the nuclear detonation and the elevation from the Earth's crust. 
1952, the UK becomes nuclear with Hurricane and then follows that later with Mosaic. In 1961, the USSR exploded the largest bomb that's ever been detonated, the Tazar, which was between 50 and 100 megatons. Then China starts building super bombs. And the race has begun to see which country can become the dominant factor in nuclear weapons design. 1962, America conducts upper atmosphere testing of nuclear warheads. After the USSR had broken a treaty and done that themselves. And you wondered where the holes in the ozone came from. The electromagnetic pulse for Starfish Prime covered approximately 2,000 miles. A larger warhead at a higher elevation could cover approximately 4,000 miles. But what if a rocket penetrated the ionosphere and exploded outside of the ionosphere in space? The electromagnetic pulse would cover the entire globe and render all electronic equipment useless. Current nuclear delivery options include bombers, such as the B-1 bomber, built by the U.S., fighters, such as this MiG-29, built by Russia. Here's an American fighter, the F-15, escorting a Tomahawk cruise missile. This is the AGM-86 air launch cruise missile that's dropped from a B-52. There are ship-based missiles. And ICBMs, this is the Minuteman built by the U.S. This is the new Russian missile. And China also has a brand new missile. This Los Angeles class submarine has both nuclear ballistic missiles and nuclear torpedoes. Submarines often increase their sonar power during periods of higher threat. And you wondered why whales and dolphins beach themselves. Searching for those subs is the job of ships like this Virginia-class guided missile cruiser, which carries nuclear ballistic missiles and nuclear depth charges. With all this nuclear firepower and our enemies armed in like fashion, what shall the future bring? Microelectronics. Our desire to have smaller electronic devices has made us vulnerable to EMP. Electronic technicians must wear a grounding strap so that the electricity in their body does not ruin electronic circuitry. Just think how an electromagnetic pulse would affect your world. Financial markets with no computers to track them, banks with no record of your financial balance. The author of this video believes that nuclear war will break out before the year is over and that a nuclear missile will be detonated in outer space to abruptly end the war and save the world from complete annihilation. What if you knew the future before it happened? What changes would be made? Would you prepare? The world is about to enter into a time known as the Great Tribulation. Are you ready? God has used the solar system as a giant clock to count down the final 2300 days of time. 